The bird, 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 bird is the word. The bird, 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 bird is the word. What's the word? What's the word? Bird is the word. All right. Welcome, guys. It's been a while. Uh, another fabulous episode. Not all the worse. I think about you all the time. You open your life to me, and I want to do the same. So tell me, what did you figure out? What did I want you to know? That you're a... Say it. Your secret's safe with us. But be very careful with these spells. Some of them can be very dangerous, and if not used well, can have a very adverse effect. Okay, so we don't care about that? We just need to get it from back. It's a long story, but we just need to get it back. And we also have to make sure the dark side does not continue to come after us. And... Atene, come. Oh, oh wow. Dobby. Fucking Dobby. So we uh, we wanted to kick it off back with um, ripoffs. Yes, and this was a band aid that we ripped off pretty hard. Oh, I know, I know. Mine was shh. The first one was shh. yeah. Okay, so we had shh. Uh oh. Truly. Shh. Shut your mouth, bitch. <laughs> And the second one was, and what was that ripping off? Go. Uh, that was ripping off of a, a slasher movie. It was basically a scream or yeah. uh, uh, and some other the movie. No, it, it was basically a scream. It was trying to be a trauma movie, mm. but it failed completely. What exactly is raw dogging? Listen, that's what you got the internet for. Check it, it out. Is it like a position? How do you raw dog? Okay, a scream one and two, and then the last, the next one was. The Wizard's Books and the Three Sisters. Really? And that was a Harry Potter rip. -off. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, no lesbian scenes. And three sisters. The third one was the last vampire on Earth. He does. He doesn't feed off of humans. He wants to help us. He wants to help find cures for diseases. He wants to help find a cure for diseases like AIDS. Maybe that does. Oh, now he goes super fast. They like fucking. And now they catch him again. Yeah, right. <sighs> Uh, which was a ripoff of Twilight. He didn't even have any teeth! Hey, man. He didn't even do that! <laughs> he didn't even do no, that! No, 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 but he did it. He could, no, he didn't even do the noise of it. Say me now. Um, Let's go with the first one. Yeah. Shh. Shh. Does anybody remember what happened in that movie? So, it starts off with a guy that's like 35 years old who has obvious parental issues. He's a filmmaker. Oh yeah, no, he's, he's not a, he does. I'm a filmmaker myself. I just started a, a project. He was not a filmmaker. He had like a little hand camera went like this to a girl one time. Hey, and then she just started getting naked and then he tried to choke her. And from then on he said he was a director. Hey, Harris, I'm ready to film my scenes over when you are. It's gonna kick ass. Yes. I don't know so, and it's now, now he runs like that. Well, it, it started with him watching a movie. Pours exactly. out a movie, and it was like a porno. With his mother. With his mother, right. Vampire porno. I and he kept looking back at the Oh no, it's because somebody tall sat in front of him. Yeah, that's right, it was a tall and guy. he's like, you couldn't see past him? Yeah. yeah. like this. Uh, one thing that really annoys me about these kinds of movies is they always try to do like pretentious things. They're like, hey, he's such a, an Arthurus uh, Rashipler. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, who the and hell is like, that guy? See anything anyways with Kevin Peter Hall in front of me. 
one guy understands who the fuck you're talking about yeah, right now. Been so one much. guy. Yes. That one guy is not watching this movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so their target guy. audience for this joke doesn't even see it. Uh, but that guy, that tall guy didn't die. He didn't no, die. No, he didn't die. He didn't die. Wait, I'm just, I know I'm going forward in this movie real quick. Uh, did they kill everybody that annoyed him, that annoyed him, just to fuck with him? We tried to make you think you were going crazy, constantly terrorizing you. We even tried to frame you. Wasn't it him? But he nobody killed? knew. No, it was his friend. It was his friend. Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> That Everybody was, wanted to watch that wasn't the thing yet. He didn't know these people were dying. No, yeah, no, no, he didn't know. But the other guy did, because remember the other guy yeah, puts up that other girl to stalk him. Because one day he read that script. And it was the greatest script that it's ever been written. That's okay. Right. Yeah. Who let him read his script at work. Seeger said the writing was magnificent. Let's let's uh let's Go so to the he, next, his next day of work. I thought you were gonna go, let's go to the next movie. So like, he goes to his house, <laughs> and like, his mom's like, trying to weirdly seduce him, but talk to him at the same time. It's really awkward. And then he the goes bench. outside, and he sees this new chick, Heather, taking groceries, and oops, she falls, drops her stuff. But what's funny is, he lives like, in a house. It's like a du a duplex, but she is like, there's only, like, two people that live. There's one family and another family. The duplex. Why was she in his yard? She dropped her shit in his yard. Fair point. Fair point. You're reading. And she didn't say she moved. She didn't move next door. No. She didn't move next door because, remember, he had to track her down and she moved it into a whole other place that this other guy lived in. Why was she at with groceries in his yard? No, here's the kicker. So they get to know each other, and they're like weirdly, awkwardly trying to talk to each other, and they go on a date to the movies. But what makes me question is that his mom sat next to him in the movies, and then she came up and sat next to him. The girl came up next to him and said, hey, who is that chick you were talking to? But later on... You know what I mean? She asked him, she's like, no, no, well, now I will, the joke I will get in land. I, hold up, I will give you, I will give you this. She said, who is that person you were talking to? Oh, Mom, can okay. you just please? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Who are you talking to? Oh, um, that was my mom. Mm. Now she just Fair saw point. that basically maybe he, he just, she just saw him going blah, 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 blah. Let's do whatever. And then she's like, so who are you talking to? Ah, could have been that. Then checks out. Could have. Uh, but then there's this uh, lady with a kid at a midnight showing. Baby into a midnight show. Oh, she's crying. The baby's crying like crazy, and he just flips his flips his lid. Shut your baby up. We're done. This is so dumb. And next thing out, she dies. And it's not until we get to the crime scene where we get the terrible police officer. Great police officer. Wait, to my, uh, detective douche and detective tool or whatever. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I must have busted another thousand times watching that tape. I wore it out. Did you ever see it? We call him Barney. Yeah, Barney. Definitely. All right, Deputy Barney Fife. Or what is it? The, the D-grade Sam and Dean. So I, would, I wouldn't even call them that. There, that's too cool. <laughs> now, they need at least one extra, like a jacket or a coat. They just wore regular T-shirts. They didn't even have badges. Hello, how you doing? I'm Detective Schmidt. This is Detective Schoenberg right here. We have a few questions for you. Nothing that said, "Oh, I'm a cop." No gun, no badge. Oh, and then well, he had. Well, no. One time they had a uh, a walkie-talkie. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. big ass walkie-talkie. He was like, Shh. "Okay." That's all he did. That was it. This is Captain Hill. Fred Harmon wants to speak to you about his son's case. The address is 375 Crystal Lane. So, Big ass walkie talkie. Congratulations. You're not a police officer. 
Because they don't have those big ass fucking ones. They did not cover anything. No. No, that one got blown in the car. Then one had sex with a stripper. Mm. And then one. Well, uh, before he had sex with the stripper, he got paid a big wad from this. Who was that guy? A drug guy? <sighs> Fuck it, I could use one. It's happy hour, boys. I can't believe you took that fucking money. I can't believe you banged Margarita. Yeah, uh, the guy gave him, uh... No, that guy, one of her, one. He, he was like, my son got killed. My son got killed. Oh, yeah, he's trying to figure out who the murderer was. He's like, here's some money. Get it out of her tits. That's, we don't, I, we have no idea which one was his son. Is that it? Uh, I assume it was the I wasn't one. paying attention. All Probably the guy. No, I think it was, I, I think, honestly, it might have been the, uh, the guy who, uh, had the stripper girlfriend. You are? I wasn't aware they allowed faggots in this theater. That's funny. I was about to say the same thing about you. The, the, the guy who got hit by a car. Oh! oh yeah. The guys in the theater, they were, like, on their phone going, <laughs> who's it? I think it might have been that guy. Yeah, and and the, the guy that he, he, uh, he splashed piss at. Yeah. Oh, he didn't splash. He just went, hey! Let's just leave. What is this? Hey, there you are. Drink my piss! Ah, it's in my fucking mouth! It's fucking piss! Yeah. And just like, he peed? I don't, if you don't see a cup, but but he, he left for a little bit and he came back. So it's almost like he peed in like a cup or something. And go, cup! No, I think he, all he did was whip his penis. Like I said, and, pretty and impressive. And spray like, it takes me a second to like, <laughs> get into a zen state to just release. Get to a spray. Oh, down. Was, uh, you know, it would have been better Splash. if you like, while he was sitting there, he's like, uh, they're like, oh, you came back and get pussy, and he's, you hear, you hear like a drizzling. Yeah. And then he's standing there, and he, ah! and just, just, ah! <laughs> I'm, I'm like my water hose, reach the end. Who thinks to phrase? Who says, you know what? This guy needs a cup of piss in his face. No, no, no. Whoa. Who says this? Who, here's one thing that confused me about the piss scene. He got piss on him. Then after the movie, the guy who's like, still watched the movie, he goes, that was a yeah. good movie. That was a good fucking movie, man. Yeah, it was good. I liked it a lot. Smell me, dude. I smell like a urinal. And it's an improvement. <sighs> Fucking dickhead. Yeah, that movie. It must have been a damn you know, good movie. Really, it really sucks that I got this piss all over me. I smell like a urinal. It's like, so, so as soon as you got pissed on, you were like, you know what? I'm going to still sit here. I'm going to still watch my movie. Who they sing? I'm going to bet. Let it marinate. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, hey, did he have asparagus? <laughs> hey, I'll get used to it here in a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry. Sounds like you got a little UTI going on. It's a on good here. manly must get like this. <laughs> I think there was. Hey, excuse me, can I bottle some of that up? Give me some more. I think R. Kelly must have been in this movie. He wakes up tied to a chair, which they say, hey, Untie him from the chair. Well, he's his move. best friend, and then the chick that yeah. screwed him over. Yeah. It's like, why? Why do you have him tied up? Why you tie him? Why you tie him? He goes, untie him. He's not going anywhere. As soon as they untie him, <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> he's sit like, down. Sit back down. Right. Where you go? He does it like this. He does it like this. Sit down. <sighs> but a genius. That is not. Thanks, honey. <laughs> why didn't you untie him? He ain't going anywhere. Fuck down, man. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> you, that, you that's, know, that's the manly, monstrous bad guy. He probably said, dude, don't push me too hard. <laughs> don't. Yeah, I have a back injury. Hurt. I have a bad back. Uh, I have a bad knee, okay? Back when I was five. Either way, they were about to kill him. And they, they, they lay down the law, like, what happened? Hey, by the way, everybody who got murdered, we did. Just to make you go insane. And make the cops believe it was you who did it. But it didn't work. And then boom, bang, pow! And then she goes. Yeah, and then all and of a sudden. Out of nowhere, you realize the mom's like a banshee. And she just comes in. And the mom. Yeah. And she does something to them. And it takes like. No, no, no. It was pretty bad. What's funny though is that in this whole movie, the people that are main characters are supposed to be aspiring actors. 
but yet they're acting aspiringly stupid. Yes. Bad. Yes. Terrible. Right. Terry Blair. It's pretty bad. And then after that, and then oh, it's yeah, right. The, the, the cops get killed at the end well, by the mom. Not well, no, anymore. before the cops get killed, no, the, the, they, 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 they come to the house and they're like, oh, dead body, dead body. Who the fuck's hey, he talking to? Let us take hey, you home. We heard everything on the the, the tape recorder. The tape recorder that that's not even wired. Because to maybe us. he yeah. was he was passed out, and they were like, hey, this fat boy has this. Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah, because he did wake up, and they're like. We heard, you know, all the evidence we needed to hear or whatever. Yeah, you're good. So, but he hears taking him home. Now, now, who's he talking to in the back? And then, but then, then at the end, it was just like, close up of her, red background. <laughs> yeah, red background because they forgot to key it out. No, they didn't. <laughs> they said, whoa, dude, that looks good. That looks cool. Let's do it. Let's keep that super cool. Roll credits. The Wizard's Book. Oh, so now, the wizard's book. Yeah, the wizard's books. Well, you're, that came out in 2022. Did it? Yeah. It came out two years yeah. ago. Yeah. That, that looked like it came out in 2004. Oh, it came out three years. Yeah, 2022. Hmm. So, the wizard's book, we, we had, we jumped from a regular art movie, PG. So we're like, ah, it's gotta be a little bit better. Stock footage galore. <laughs> Wait, the... yeah, look how good the lighting is. Yeah. And stock footage. Yep. And then he goes, yeah, this is gonna cut with my movie. Never have made us. See, this page right here makes objects float. Anytime you saw a good shot of him, it's like, you know what? It's a good shot. Stock footage. Yep. Everything, even their green screen whatever, everybody was blown out. There was a moment where they had, like, little glitter filters, and it was, it was so bad because you can see the watermark that said, hashtag royalty free images. By the way, here's the phone app that they made the dragon in. <laughs> and then uh, we I'm get the, the title screen with the Harry Potter music and the clouds. There's so many damn characters. Well, you start off with, in the beginning, I guess there's like this dude, wizard dude, and he loses, he throws a book over a cliff. And somehow, throughout time, forgot all hundreds of years, this book, dropped off a cliff, we said, ends up in a city park sandbox. Setting up the 2 a.m. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the kids dig it up from the city park. Yeah, hold on, hold on, up. Made probably only about what five, six years before. It's a pretty updated wood park. You just, where they got you just went with the old guy. Now there was also that other. Oh, I think we should just go down the line. You named off a guy. Now I'm gonna name off a guy real quick. There was that wizard. That was Hispanic. <laughs> so this is where it was buried. The book hidden for 2,000 years. Oh yeah, that okay. was throughout the whole thing and he changed in different clothing and taught the kids right? themselves. I guess the question that I have to ask is, who wants to go to the castle and who wants to stay? But before you answer that... Uh, okay, we'll go with, uh, Girl Who Finds the Box. Look, hold on, maybe there's one of you. Yeah, maybe I could buy some manners. Little Girl Who Finds the Box. Mm -hmm. Little Girl Who Finds the Box. Uh... She, because they forgot about her after the first 10 minutes. Of the movie. After she, oh, I, I, I think it's because after she couldn't sing. Away to the castle, I'll fly like a bird. Witches and goblins and wizards, oh my. Scared I am not, but maybe just a little. Learning like spells, like a good little witch. Hey, there is 41 minutes left. There is 40 minutes? Left? Yeah. 
they threw her out of the movie. Yeah, about 40 minutes in, they decide, you know what, let's make this a musical. This is about the time <laughs> that you got like, all music. You got like five this. songs before the end of the movie when we're yeah. like an hour already yeah. in. And it's just random characters we've never seen before. It's like, you know what? We need to have a backstory. Could you sing this? Can you imagine if Harry Potter was a musical? Remember, the witchy woman. Witchy woman with the glasses? No, with the black dress. Are you talking about, like, her name was like Galdofina, uh, Marcarada, Gra oh. Grandolana, Gold. Let's do this. Gondolina, Bob. It was a G. It was like Gondolina. You don't get a pass to call me that. How about I send you into the darkest blind and deaf without your powers? So gonorrhea. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Okay, gonorrhea. Yeah. One pool. Yes. This is what I want to see. Her name was gonorrhea. Was, uh, miss overacting. Oh, gosh. Or couldn't acting. It was like if you got somebody from Jersey and said, hey, I need you to have a normal <laughs> accent. Talk about a guy from Jersey. They the one force ghost. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on, Christopher Walken? <laughs> Lord, once again. No. They can only use the book to start the process and reign evil. But... They will need all three books to resurrect the Dark Lord. Hey! hey I'm a wizard! Hey, I'm why, walking why, here! Why'd you resurrect me? Why'd you take me out yeah, here? What are you doing here? He's like, we're all wizards! You, you know, you know I'm, what? A, I'm a wizard from 2,000 years ago! Okay. Let's see it. And then we. You know, it sounds like we're just rambling on, but this is literally the timeline. Yeah, this is the movie. The movie. So, the movie. Yeah, a bunch of kids find, find these. Uh, uh, find, find this book and a bunch of wands. Oh yeah, they find a bunch of wands. However, and it's a, it's a, no, it's not just like a bunch. It's a shit ton. It's like hey, wands. pass it to your friends. <laughs> Ironically, it's the same amount of kids that were there that found it. Oh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I I love the when they hey, let's all go to a sleepover. We don't have any parents anyways. None of them do, and they all say my parent is a shitty parent. No, no, I I love the fact that they all go. Hey, let's go teleport into another dimension. Everybody hold the hands, and then, boom! Then you don't see them in the other dimension. And then they just serve. Oh, oh. They're running away. Oh, and because apparently they were watching what was going on, we, we I, went, we I went to, nowhere. We went to a school and said, hey, by the way, you see all these classes, and we find this teacher well, doing their own one thing, <clears throat> teaching in the school. We find a dragon. We find another guy talking and resurrecting somebody. And then we go back to the kids going, well, they went to the school be here. because, like, they found the book, and then they started playing with the spells. And then after they find the book, the guy senses that they found it, and then all these other bad wizards. I told you I wasn't messing with you, little brat. They're like, oh, somebody found the book. We gotta find these... Ergos, because that's like the word that they say for regular people. Ergos, ergo. Yeah. And then the double door guy visits these kids without parental permission in their house inside their attic, and he's like, "Hey." Hello, everyone. I'm Professor Carmichael Finks, and I've just put you under a frozen spell just for a couple of moments because you. I'm gonna tell you kids something, but you, you're gonna forget everything. But everyone else, I'm gonna take y'all away to the school. But you know that's, what? You know what it was. After, after, that's after the bad guys kill the kid. But you, yeah, you know, that's right. But and you, they don't even care. You know why they took oh. that kid out? They they did that because the kid was the mom was like, so my son cannot do this show anymore. And they were like, oh, I believe it. And then she's like, yes, okay, I saw what you did. I saw what was going on. And that one Gandalf guy, he is a pedophile. Did you know her? Did you see that stuff? <laughs> So the stock footage is great stock footage, like...
Oh, he had this green screen. So, he's home. I can't now, be. Keep in mind, I think so the director, close. director probably has no home, right? So I bet you what he did was he was like, hey, we're going to be filming at your house, okay? And we're going to film there. And then it gets overnight. And then he's like, hey, can I just sleep in on the floor? Man, yeah, that I probably did. Can I just sleep here? Have and then, sleep. then the kid's like, oh, my parents are already asleep. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And then they, they wake up and they're like, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> yeah. Why are you in... Our house in her bedroom. This is what I Sleeping? do. Wow, well, wait, man. It's like I'm just sleeping on the floor. It's like get out. To where? To where? But then, but then you wonder how come the kids kept showing back up. They signed think, a contract. I don't think. Uh, well, I, I think yeah, no, no, but I, I don't think they, the parents knew, because he took them out into the woods. And so they go to school, and yeah, now I you mean, got these like only selecting like a couple of the girls, and that the, 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 the boy girl that. that Actually, sound British. Oh, the Hermione wannabe. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She actually British sounded girl. British. Well, there were some moments where her accent was failing. It was, it just was like, pretty good though. Yeah, it was age. pretty good. But they went to school, and now all of a sudden they're like, people were making fun of them, and then also they became cool. And then you got Professor Jackson teaching God knows what in his class, screaming and going, "Hey, you over there! You're going to be late too. Move it! Move!" You children, you to class! Yeah. I am talking to you! She's the only one who uh, had the actual witch work right there. Yeah. <laughs> I was, and when you, she was always like, hey, that's good makeup. That's not makeup. It's not. From glimmers of memory back to the enveloping light of your being. To be together, born again of a new dawn, joined as immortal souls, walk, waking from an earthly amnesia. Lock and dulls mortal. And then we have all the kids eventually back together, but they have to go learn some secret spells to fight the bad guys on end. To, to basically the seventh yeah. Harry Potter. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> I think that, that one gonorrhea chick, I think that was supposed to be Bellatrix. No, she's, I think she's Voldemort. No, they're trying to resurrect Voldemort. That's right, they're trying to resurrect that. No, 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 she's talking about the dark ones, and that, no. That Sauron. is Sauron. <laughs> oh, yeah, out of nowhere, Lord she's of the Rings Voldemort, got brought in. And that's Sauron. And, yeah, a giant eyeball flame just pops out of nowhere. Because that was the dark one. Yeah. The dark lord. And then, for some reason, the kids all teleport somewhere with, with this new magic stuff, and then the the teachers come in and go, No! You're go not back. supposed to be here. Go back. And then suddenly the bad guys start showing up for different teachers and they back. Yeah. And then the one girl, it's I, I use that term loosely. Their, 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 battles, their battles are like this. Ooh. Catch that ice ball, bitch. Quit. I don't understand how they couldn't get Daniel Radcliffe for this one. Hey, he's not doing much. The last vampire on, on Earth. Earth. The Twilight Ripoff. I keep wanting to say Twilight Zone, but I'm like, no, that's... It's Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. It felt like being in the Twilight Zone watching that. Personally, I'm thrilled about this. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Besides, at least we won't be stuck listening to Professor Journey on for an hour. So we start off with this movie. It's very... Gerald, do you want to do this? No. Uh... It's terrible. This, this, this. I've never seen a vampire movie without with, fangs. With, without fangs or any vampire action. Not even a simple. <sighs> no, he <sighs> does it. <sighs> you know, he, he does this in the classes. And... No, 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 hold on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looked. He looked like Aurelius. If Robert, yeah, Pattinson, yourself a double if Robert Pattinson became Gain 150 uh, pounds extra 
turned into Haley. Nowadays, Haley Joel Osment. That's a good. Okay. That's a good reference. Yeah. He when he was lying on his back, his left ear was missing. When I'm with you, I feel like I could die. Still think it's insane that his his base fat covers his left ear. Die. So like, okay, so we start off with they're in college going into class into English literature, and you see a group of weird guy. Weird guy. Yeah, he's so mysterious and dark. And then he passes by, what was her name? Chloe? Yeah. And then she's like, oh, that was weird. This guy's weird walking past me. Well, all he yeah, did was like this. All he did was go. And, and she then, goes, oh, that did was you see weird. that weird guy just looked at us? That was really weird. Yeah. Or did, did, he, did he scowl? There was a stinger. And I wonder if that noise actually came out of him. Maybe we should. Uh, <laughs> like, like, that's what he made. <laughs> <laughs> When, I, when he looks at it, maybe that should have been a running gag on the yeah. whole thing. Should have been. Most of you have heard of Dracula. But that this should have been his me. Me. Right? Me. He actually says it. So they go into class, and the professor writes on the wall Dracula, and says we're gonna do the play Dracula. Even though we're an English class, we're gonna put on a show. And you have to do a performance playing in Dracula. And woe and behold, yes, you young mysterious man, you will be playing Dracula. Ironically, the vampire. Mm. But he chose at random. Yeah. And then, well, he said, I'm gonna choose at random and go with AU. Hey, <laughs> so she's like, hey, since we were in the play together and we got lines together, you wanna get some coffee sometime and maybe uh, go over our lines? Line? And then next scene, it's like oh, boyfriend, boy. girlfriend, we're boyfriend, girlfriend. Now. Oh yeah. What's your name again? Chloe. We're going out. Yeah. And we're going to church. Yeah. And yeah. you're meeting my family. They're 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 holding hands. You're hearing the song. Raindrops keep falling. And I'll say, well, I wish it would have been a lot better movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're having a song and we're I, watching the entire the coffee lead. shop that they go to to watch to look over their lines, which they never even did practice anything. It's dark. There you go. Have a nice day. Hi, how are you guys? Good, how are you? Good, what can I get for you? Um, can I have one of these and a coffee? They had the lights off in the entire place. It must have been a vampire coffee show. Because it made no sense. Who, who, who runs the Starbucks anything? that dark? No, I'm gonna leave soon. You aren't getting anything? No, I gotta leave soon. Oh, well thanks for the uh, coffee okay. and, and, and I guess we're dating now. Uh, I want you to have yeah. dinner with my parents. And then, so it turns out they're like Mormon Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, 2026. And yet, he can be in a church around crucifixes. But all he has to do is go, oh. And then, he also can be seen in mirrors and daylight. and daylight. The mirror really pissed me off. Give, give us one lore other than drinks blood. Right. This movie was so bad, Gerald was more concerned about how many animals are consumed in a year and what animal. Yeah, worldwide. It was interesting. It's, it's pretty it's it, more it, interesting it was a lot more interesting yeah. movie. Yeah. 100 million sharks. Did y'all know that? 100 million sharks are consumed. 80 million octopus. No, 2 billion octopus. 2 billion. Very good. And it was after that scene where, uh, when, when, uh, he wouldn't eat the food. Yeah, the first, it up. Well, he first didn't, the first time he had dinner there, he's like, oh, I'm a bad dinner guest. I already ate something on my way here. That was the most pointless shit ever is the blood drive guy. Oh, well, no, because he's like, hey, my name's Wayne. Hello, Wayne. I'm Aurelius. What do you get running this thing? Eight, nine dollars an hour? Yeah. Yeah, thereabouts. You want to sell me some of that blood? He's like, get lost, kid. He's How much like, you oh, make? yeah? How much you make? make? Eight, nine dollars an hour? No, he said like seven, eight dollars an hour or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and he's like, give or take. 
And he's like, well, I bet you I could sweeten that deal for you. Throws him twenty seven dollars. Twenty seven dollars. That, exactly. that guaranteed that was a twenty, a five, a two one. And he goes, very serious win. That would be just the first installment. There's more where that came from if you bring it to this address. He's like, you know what? I could get my, I could lose my job and, and go to prison. Go to this. prison for you a know long what? time, but this twenty-seven dollars. What, what, what's that? Why your trip? A nickel. I built my own hotel. My own hotel. It's like, it was even wilder. Is like he doesn't give him like one box of blood. He's just like, oh, this is all the blood I drove today. Bags that he did. Ziplocs. And right, so he's just draining people. And he writes, he writes the name of the victim's Kevin. <laughs> so, Sammy. Hey, Dad, what's up? Well, I'll ask him when. Okay, I'll see. Fifty thousand turtles, eighty-three thousand crocodiles, hundred thousand buffalo, four hundred thousand sea urchins, camels, eight eighty thousand, horses, five million. Is that eight hundred thousand? Cats, Hello? ten million. How did she figure out he was a vampire? It was it oh was, like uh, he he said here's some information on vampires and then she put together the blood in his and then, house. yeah she went over to his house and saw the blood she's like wait a minute I saw the blood in your house and you tell me information about vampires and you say you have no family you're a say it a vampire and then they start becoming even more boyfriend girlfriend and then finds out plot twist she's got AIDS. The chick's got AIDS. A train. She Where did she got an A train? Oh, yeah, the, the, the doctor's reference to it was hey, we got a big old AIDS train <laughs> blowing through. Four more who've been running into the AIDS train. Where it's resistant to anything we can do. I, 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 I love be a pandemic going around because everyone's uh, got it. I love how he was like, listen, these drugs aren't working, so we're gonna load you up with a lot more we're, drugs. We're gonna get you some more drugs. Well, Sunday when the railway was over. But for dinner, after dinner, I heard him and Chloe talking. Mom, Dad, I heard him throwing up and so and so was like, you're a bit of butter. And they're like, what? This can't be. No, Pompano? Nobody dislikes Kentucky Fried Chicken? <laughs> yeah, that mom was really set on that. What? And then the dad's like, I got to get you. I knew there was something up with him not wanting a chicken. <laughs> and then he's like, <laughs> dad's like, this, I'll take care of this. This is unex. Yeah, and he gets okay. his black trench coat on. Shh, shh. And he calls. Yeah. And he's like, I need to meet up with you. He's, he's got John Constantine. Now let's <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's point something out before we go further. This the only powers I've seen this vampire do. Is super speed where they ping pong. Yeah, he's like ping pong. Poor guy yeah, playing ping pong. He can go in. He can go into sunlight. He can do anything, but but just somehow when the dad finds out, he gets ambushed by the fat mom, the dad, and the son, and a couple of neighbors. And they manage to catch him and tie him up like it's in Salem. And they're like, "Oh, we're gonna burn this mf'er, and he's gonna be banished to hell." And it's just but Chloe brings the Glock. Yeah, she shows up with the Glock heavy, <laughs> and she's like, "Listen, dude." Nobody's gonna shoot my man. Nobody's gonna kill my man. And I'll blast y'all away if y'all have to. Any yeah. one of you. This poor and guy. I got AIDS. Yeah, so. yeah. She's like, oh, I got AIDS. I don't care. Don't mess with me. <laughs> I'm about to die anyways. Well, then what he's become? I'm not it's like it's like his adult fidget spinner. He just needed something. No way. He drops it. Nobody screams. Yeah. Nobody panics. She's They're just like, oh, she just She's just going on for so long, and you're holding it. You're going, and then she's like, boom! And everyone's like, oh. And then she, yeah. she was serious. <laughs> then, uh, of course, when she's like, hey, come on, come on. He's a good man. We're good people. <laughs> and we're, we're good. We're good people. Now we're getting out of here. Literally, nothing happened. I want this. So in front of everyone. Ever. So in front of everyone, instead of making it a private event, it's just like straight to. But you don't see no fangs. No, you see him go like this. He's good. Ah, but there's no fangs. Yep. You, you, and if you're just, gonna get costumes, you know, like 
If you're gonna have terrible costuming, you could at least stop at Party City and put some stupid All you had to do was buy those dollar fangs. They cut them off and just release. For that one moment! Literally, you could buy the you could buy retractable ones for nine bucks. Like actual ones that go psh, psh. Michael, what do you feel? Which worst was the one? worst of the night? And why? Which one would I not watch again? That's, at yeah, all. If you had a gun to your head and somebody forced you to watch it, you would just say, I'm going to take that It bullet. had no redeeming qualities at all, and I would not, I would not watch the wizard movie again. Really? Ooh, that bothered me the most. I would have to say, out of the three, I enjoyed... The last vampire on earth. <laughs> because it was just so damn stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say shh because it was shh. It was, it was just shit. But it just there was too many things going on in there where I'm like, okay, you're a weird guy, whoever's writing this movie. But if I had to go with a movie that I absolutely could not watch again. Last Vampire. You can't do that I again? I can't do that again. Hey. Hey. So overall, yeah, I, I would say then we're at a standstill. Uh, so is, nobody wins It's today. okay, nobody so wins. Mexican hey, standoff. Hey, that means we're going to have a round two. Hey, thank you for watching and keep watching really bad movies. Keep it breezy.